Bridge Dictionary, 2010, according to the Roman Gregorian calendar. It says, modern, in modern civil law, as we know it now, mandate means any contract by which a person undertakes to perform services for another. Man, any con listen, like now, any contract okay. by which another person undertakes to perform services for another. That's a mandating something, you know what I'm saying? What you're doing, you undertaking. You already losing. You're going under. You know what I'm saying? You undertaking, you got to perform service. That's mandate. That's what's coming from demands. D, the Latin origin of D is from or of or out of. You know what I'm saying? So of this, you mandating a bitch to do another service for you. That's a demand. You know what I'm saying? That's why you laying a claim as a right. That's the second part of the elemental chain of relationships. First, like we say, titles. You got to think of what these words mean and what the behavior they bring, because it's not about what the word really means. It's word association. When people hear these words and they place these stipulations on you, <coughs> classifying people mentally, and you start to go through the step of the elemental chain. So follow us along the elemental chain of relationships, and you can see how this shit relate. Titles, demands. Leading now from demands you know, you have the right to do this shit because of ownership. That's because why you can demand. Title. Yeah, because of the title. You own a bitch like you own a car. You can crank that bitch up anytime you want to. The car don't have no say-so. You know what I'm saying? So now since you're older, you know what I'm saying, that leads to the third part of the chain, expectations. You know what I'm saying? What Makes you sense. Expect? You don't make demands now. It ain't like you all stand on it forcibly, you talking, you making demands. Now you expect these people to come through on this shit that you these demands that you laid down. You know what I'm saying? Going into the contract. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe not verbally con a verbal contract or a written contract. Some of these things are not disclosed. They just kept on the inside. Mm -hmm. We're gonna also see that too. And that's some part of the problem. But we'll get back on that. Expectations now. The root of the word of expectations, of course, is to expect. You know what I'm saying? So looking up, looking up that definition, like once again giving the reference to the Random House Unabridged Dictionary, you know what I'm saying? As a verb being used with an object, the word expect showed to, def to be defined as saying to look forward to, to look forward to, regard as likely to happen, mm -hmm. anticipate the occurrence or the coming of. You know what I'm saying? Once again, to look forward to, regard as likely to happen, anticipate the occurrence or the coming of. You know what I'm saying? This real shit now. That's what expect the word expect means. So patience is just carrying out the aspect, the action of expecting. You know what I'm saying? So now you're anticipating this shit to happen because look, it's the only make common sense. If you make a demand, you're gonna expect the bitch to come through. Yeah. You know what More I'm saying? Likely, it's gonna happen. That's the expectation that comes, the behavior come, that comes after the demands, you know what I'm saying? So you're anticipating the occurrence or the coming of, you know what I'm saying? So another example of this, that term supposed to, you're supposed to because your minds, you're supposed to. Bitch, think a bitch supposed to do something. Mm -hmm. Well, I was told when I was a jit, I don't know if the crackers might have heard this shit or not, but they said I ain't supposed to do shit but stay black and die. That's the old statement, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So bitch ain't supposed to do nothing. Because, you know what I'm saying, you would think as an adult, as a people it was really created with free will. But because of these demands of being, you expecting this to happen, and you know, so you like, you, I expect you to do this because of ownership, like you said. That's what's bringing this shit in. You know what I'm saying? So now you're expecting this shit to happen. So it's just it. It's so the expectations do happen. Everything all good. Hey, cool. Shit good, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Bitch meeting this shit, you like, I'm straight. But what happens when the expectations are not met? Now the titles don't came, the demands don't been put down, the expectations follow. Now what happens when those expectations of what you're demanding don't be met? Because first of all, remember, the sources you don't really even know most of the time thyself or know thyself. So you think you're going into this with this relationship, but you don't know. A lot of people, I was knowing I was hanging married for 50 years. I never knew he was a killer. I never knew he was gay. I never knew. So you, come on, man, because you really never knew ourself. That ain't don't get mad at them motherfuckers, him or her. You don't know thyself, so you it can't know them. You know what I'm saying? So now, getting back to expectations. They are not met. What happens when the expectations are not met? I know. That leads into what? Basically, disappointment. Big disappointment. The fourth part of the elemental chain of relationships, disappointment, when the expectations are not met. Now looking up into the Random House Unabridged Dictionary once again, it showed that disappointment is a verb used with an object. And it's showing that the word disappointment is showing to mean to fail, 
to fulfill the expectation of or to defeat the fulfillment of. You know what I'm saying? To fail to fulfill the expectation, say it right there, of, or to defeat the fulfillment of. Disappointment come now. You know what I'm saying? So now just looking at it relevant meaning in relationship. Now the motherfucker ain't meeting the expectation. Now disappointment's starting to come. Mm -hmm. What is the behavior and the action that immediately follows disappointment in most of the relationship now, for the most part? We as, never can't say as all. As we know it As today. we know today. And we see it out here being a real nigga on the streets now. Not trying to hide shit. The behavior that follows disappointment is a bitch gonna go out on you. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. That is the truth. A bitch gonna go out on you. And what we mean by going out, in case you don't know, you know what I'm saying, is a bitch gonna basically be like, whatever. Switch out. I, like they, Switch it up. I, like they don't Flip. know you. Yeah, they don't know you at that moment. Uh, disassociate themselves. And they like, from fuck, you. fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you puzzle. And this is the behavior that we Fuck see, you. dog, in relationships for real. <laughs> this is relationship shit we see in the streets, man. Don't be motherfucking gaming, man. Y'all motherfuckers don't be like, nah, man, they don't know. Man, this real shit now. This grown man it. real nigga they shit, man. This, they ain't gotta be shame about this shit or nothing. The shit's going on. We need to look at it. Bitch be disappointment because the expectation don't matter. Bitch start going out on each side. No one side greater than the other on each side, as far as the male and the female. Bitch start going out, dog. And that show you that you who really care about you or not at that point. Cause you like, damn, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Thought you care about it, you going out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I meet the expectation, now you gonna go out on a nigga. You can tell this is the shit that's happening. That's why those, rela those results we talking about, divorce rate being the highest. Domestic violence going up. These are product, byproducts of bitches going out. Some bitches can't believe it at some time. They don't even know the another motherfucker cause they don't know who? Ourself. They always trace back to yourself. Through the knowing of ourself, you're able to know Dang. all things. You know what I'm saying? So, no, don't think this ain't nothing new now. This has been going on for millions of years. Millions. Millions of years as we know it today now. As we know it today, this relationship shit, the shit ain't working. The results are not positive, dog. All this shit is happening, and y'all bitches playing around and faking with each other. And just to try to lay some claim or try to do it for the show of man in the eyes of they other people. Type of ownership. You know what I'm saying? Instead of looking at the value of themselves, they gotta use other motherfuckers to try to validate their life most of the time. And bitches just going along doing some little routine and bitches keep switching up, switching up, switching up. You ain't supposed to just keep switching up all, all these mates. You know what I'm saying? The problem is really with you. It's not with all this because you ain't never, never took the time out to know ourself. That's what the real source of the problem is. Mm -hmm. Like my dog Clit say, if you don't love yourself, how the fuck you gonna love somebody else? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just real shit. Grown man, real nigga shit. Mm -hmm. Straight up. That's the realness of behind the whole shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether a bitch wanna try to fake and act like they don't know, or a bitch wanna face something like, this the real shit, man. Bitch need to take the time out to know themselves before you can even try to relate to another motherfucker. The relationship as we know today ain't fucking working. So what we need to do, we need to use our powers and we need to redefine relationships. Real vision, grown man, real nigga shit, man. Give thanks to the emperor, man. This will bring forth the spirit of realness, which we gonna, just gonna lead right into it. How do we re redefine relationships? Because this shit ain't working, so we gotta do something. You just don't keep doing the same shit if the shit ain't working, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Bitch be like, man, that because they don't do this, or because she don't do that. I don't wanna hear all that bullshit talk. You know what I'm saying? Bitch wanna talk all that little, that's the earthly realms. Let's get to the source and the root of the problem. We need to redefine relationships, and that's what we're gonna lead into, man. Grown man, real nigga shit TV, you lie. What's up, what's up? What's going on with you? Let me ask you a question, make sure I got this right. The first one was titles. Mm-hmm.